Hi, thank you so much for tuning into the channel. My name is Lede, and today I'm going to be talking about ways to help with toy clutter when you are homekeeping with small children in the home. I remember when I was a new mom, that was something that I struggled with a lot. I would go on YouTube, I would see all these people who had these beautiful homes that they were able to maintain and just make it look beautiful and stuff all the time, but their homes didn't look like my home. And by that, I mean they didn't have little crazy kids written all over the place. And I was thinking, oh, as much as I love your routines, girl, you got it going on. Uh, how are you making this work? Or how do you make this work when you have small kids in the house? And so um, there probably are a lot of videos, more videos about that now. But um, since then, I've come up with a lot of um, strategies that help me uh, with my home. And I figured I would share those strategies with you guys today. Now, do we have it going on over here? No, I am not, I will never be that person that's gonna be like, yes, I have life figured out. Um, I know exactly what to do. That's just not me. That's just not how I run things here because I'm in the struggle boat. But I definitely feel like I have tips and things that just make it a little better and a little easier. And so I just wanna share those tips today for anybody who might find these types of tips helpful. Uh, I think I remember the day where I had just felt like my buttons were pushed. We had just reached the limit on what I could tolerate in terms of toy clutter. At the time, I just had my two boys and they were probably about maybe like three and one years old. So their toy collection had just been growing and growing and growing. And I felt like their toys pretty much took a permanent position on our living room floor. And uh, I just felt like it just looked like a mountain of toys in our living room at all times. <laughs> like you could barely walk there. And I felt like picking up those toys were so tedious. Well, one day we had unexpected visitors. I just remember feeling like so embarrassed. And like the only thing I could say was, yeah, we have kids. Da -da -da -da. Um, so that was when I decided that I really needed to find some strategies uh, to keep toy clutter under control. Like I should not be struggling as much as I do to just pick up the toys that we have. So the first thing that I did is I think I saw a YouTube video by Clutterbug and she said the way that she manages toy clutter for her children was that she kind of organizes the toys. So she puts them, divides them up by category. And so um, that's what I did. Pretty much I thought about like six different themes or six different categories that my kids played with and I kind of sorted out the toys accordingly. You guys may have more or less categories, but I just kind of sorted everything. I took a picture of like each category and then I went to, I think I went to the Dollar Tree or Walmart and I found a bin to match the size of that category. And then I just pretty much put the toys, like I divided the toys and I put them in there and I put labels on them and pretty much I taught my kids that we only play with one category at a time. So each child got their own category. And like when you're done with that, you put those toys away before you move to the next toy. And that seemed to help a lot. Like was it a perfect system? No. Did toys get mixed up occasionally? Yeah. But it was much easier to take care of. You know what I found is like maybe in a day, my kids were not interested in playing with every single toy that they had. Maybe they wanted to play with like one or two categories. So if the toys did get mixed up and jumbled up, it was super easy for me to put it back together. Here, Janina. Another thing that I started doing was I started decluttering way more often. Um, I just felt like my kids were accumulating toys at a very rapid pace. They got toys for their birthday, they got toys for holidays, people would bring gifts to them. Um, maybe they were doing well at school and they would earn something and just be bringing that stuff in the house. And so it was like toys were coming in at a faster rate than they were coming out. And so I just made it a point to really just pay attention. Give me that cup. So I really made it a point to pay attention to what toys they were actually playing with and what toys were just kind of like past their prime. You know, like different toys are just appropriate for different seasons and like every six months or so I would go and evaluate like, okay, these are like the favorites right here. These are big. Like my kids show these toys to me like every single day so I know that we're going to keep these. But these I haven't seen for a while and they're kind of like at the bottom of the bucket. So those are the toys that I would either throw away or donate depending on their condition. Another rule that I try to use to kind of help me know how much to declutter is 
I, once I kind of establish those containers, like I really try not to allow my kids' toy collection to outgrow the containers that we have. Like, yeah, that's when I pretty much know it's time to declutter. If I feel like toys are kind of like spilling over and it's becoming excessive, then that kind of triggers me, or that kind of triggers me and lets me know that it's time to declutter. And so another tool that I've been using to kind of help me stay on top of toy clutter is I've been segmenting the toys. And so um, with Fly Lady, you know, every day we have to kind of touch up on our hot spots or we pick up and put away things that are out of place. And so when I started my Fly Lady journey, I made a decision that I would pick up our toys every single night. So when the kids go to bed, like I pick them up just for my sanity and for my peace so I can just look at my house and be like, girl, you did that. And so, um, but I realized it was just too many toys for me to pick up. And so um, what I did is once again, I went back to segmenting those toys into categories, which we've already talked about. But then I went ahead and divided the toys up. So I have like toys that are in the garage. I have toys that are in my living room. For the babies, I took half of their toys and I put them out for them to play with. I put the other half in my closet. And I will rotate them out. That way there's always a controllable amount of toys and it's very easy for me to pick them up at night. My boys, I have their toys upstairs now so that their toys are not mixed in with the baby's toys. Also, my son has Legos that he likes, so I have those in a separate container that I put under his bed. So when he's ready to play Legos, he knows he needs to tidy up the other area and then he can go play with his Legos. I have like seasonal toys and things like that in our closet. So, let's be here for just a second. So like, we have like, Halloween buckets and stuff that used to be in the toy container and costumes. I went ahead and put those types of things in their closet. So they can still play with their costumes and stuff, but once again, it's just a way to help me divide the toys so that they don't have access to everything at one time. And that seems to be really helping a lot as well. So um, those are just some things that I've been doing to control. Those are just some things that I've been doing to control toy clutter. I know that, you know, as the kids get older and um, there's more stuff in the house, I'll, I'll probably have to update and revamp my systems. And so, um, if you guys have any tips or suggestions, please share those down below in the comments. It's very helpful to me and I'm sure it's very helpful to other people who may be interested in this topic. Like I said, I just felt like when I was a new mom, there wasn't like a lot of people talking about like how to, you know, manage your home with kids. For some reason, everybody's kids just seemed to magically disappear when it was time to clean up or like there just wasn't like a lot of people talking about that back in the day and I know it could be different now but like I said this is just a realistic video for anybody who might be looking for that and so I hope you guys enjoyed and let me know what you think about these reflection videos these are the videos that I would have would have found helpful when I was a new mom so thank you guys so much for watching and I hope to see you guys in the next video bye can you say goodbye